Hello, um, welcome to this little video on the Rapido 15XX. This landed on our laps a few weeks ago, but I thought I'd wait for the rush to end and to do my review later. Now, obviously, Enwins is a Rapido agent, but we like to think that we are very open and honest in our uh, opinions and as experience has taught me I have no reason to be anything but complimentary with Rapido from the experience as a, as a, as a retailer. So here it is uh, in the box which is very familiar to anybody who's dealt with Rapido, the quality of the box which is nice and sturdy. Now, the instruction manual is very comprehensive and there have been a lot of reports um, regarding the uh, running of the loco straight out of the box. It does say in the build manual, or the instructions manual, to run the locomotive in. So before I give an opinion, and I haven't run this loco, it literally is coming out of the box. Uh, I'm actually going to run it in uh, as per the instructions. As you can see, it's a, a very comprehensive, yeah, you can see it now, a very comprehensive uh, little booklet as they usually are from this manufacturer. If you're wondering about the, about the background noise, uh, I am filming outdoors because it is a gloriously sunny autumn day. So we take this out and there is the locomotive. Now in this particular case we have 1501 which is as preserved. Now what I can do that other retailers can't do is I can actually supply with every single one of these a video I filmed of the real 1501 at East Lanks Railway and for the purposes of this review I am going to rather than me try to point out the detail I'm going to get lots of shots of this and I'm going to take uh, intersperse them with shots from the DVD that we are going to give away with every single one of these ordered we have seven DVDs seven locomotives and basically every single one will get a copy of the footage that you can see on this video of the real locomotive. Now, again, nicely packaged. Slide this out. Here's all the extra details in the detail pack and they include All sorts, including spare water fillers, um, shovels, irons. I don't tend to fit these myself because um, it's. It, I, I just think the detail on this is just incredible. Does it need extra? Right. Now, straight out of the box literally I'm trying to make sure it's in shot there you go right one rapido 15xx it is as reported elsewhere nice and weighty there are no issues there and looking over the locomotive i can see that there is no visible glue marks, no visible signs of damage, just exquisite detail. Looking at this, there are no little squashed bits to report, no damaged pan bits. Everything is exactly as it was or and intended to be when it left the factory. Look at the detail on that. But 
don't take my word for it. There's the model. And now, have a look at the real loco. Again, exquisite detail. Absolutely beautiful. Now, As I said, the footage you're seeing of the real locomotive you will get when you buy one of these from Enwins. So you can do your own real-time comparisons with the model you see before you.
absolutely spot on. First hopper in place. I think the problem is the driver. Can't sack him. I own the place. Absolutely spot on. So, the loco definitely passes the fine movement test. Right, we have changed the angle, or as Jenny Kirk says, the angle of the dangle, and let's see if yes, you can see the firebox glow. Told you it was working. We just hid it. There you go. So even on the DC version, we have and look how smoothly that's running. That is a combination of finally clean track and really lovely loco. I mean that is realistic, I am very happy with that, quite chuffed with the uh, lighting as well. One of my few successes. Ah, yes. So there you go. And this is the layout you will see more of in future videos. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, it really, really helps the channel. And if you want to be really helpful, go to www.patreon.com forward slash nwin um, because we're using that to fund one of the car builds on the other channel, Enwin's Motors. And whilst you're at it, do check out Enwin's Motors. You'll find all sorts of car content, which has now gone weekly, which is part of the reason for this layout. We want to do some weekly content for you. One last little run. Mm. I do love this loco. Not just saying it, I really love this loco. So much, in fact, that this one's mine. Practice what I preach. I've bought one.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>